Okay, so welcome to today. Uh, what I wanted to do today is to share a little tip with you, or probably a little series of tips, maybe uh, five minutes worth, of stuff that you can do uh, shoveling or walking, even walking out on the, the snow and the ice. Shoveling and walking both bring the body into a forward flexion position, right? So you're kind of headed in towards yourself. You're doing the work in front of you. We're leaning down. So much of our life, whether we're on a device or we're reading or we're doing anything work-wise, even cooking, is in that forward flex position. And then we take our chores outside into the snow and we're doing the same thing. So these are some ideas. These are some what I call stretching moves to help you to open up through the front of your body. Um, and let those muscles get some space. Really, that's what it is, space and relief, right? So we're going to do, oh, maybe about five or six exercises, some movements here. So you can follow along with me. You're going to take a stance a little bit wider than your body. You're going to lean forward. So you're leaning your chest forward. You're going to stick your butt out. So we're going to let the brain see, okay, this is kind of closed in. And then you're going to inhale as you open up. And then exhaling as you close. So all of this movement here is coming in right through your hips, right? That's where you're driving the movement from. And anytime you go away from your body, you're inhaling, exhaling as you come back. Exhale. It's almost like this great, nice big, great stretch. One more like that. And then we're going to do backwards arm circles, but we're only going to do one arm. And even though it's an arm circle, you're going to let the rest of you go with that movement, right? We want to try to get this as whole body mixing in as, you know, is possible in the movement, not just relegating it to one part. And let's go that other arm. And the breathing is whatever works for you. So you're not trying to force any air in. You're not trying to hold your breath. You're trying to be free. And think of your head and your, the top of your head as, as lifting up towards the sky. One more like that. And then just dropping the arms down, just a side-to-side -side movement. So again, as I said before, think if there was a string on the top of your head pulling you upwards. That's going to that's gonna kind of help you stay in, in a good alignment as you do this. And just letting your feet twirl just nice and easy as you take that side-to-side. -side. Very, very playful. This gets a nice good mix in through the middle. And then similar to what we did in the beginning, but we're going we're gonna to close the arms in. So you're going to rotate the arms inwards. You're going to round yourself forward. And then this is not as big of a move, but you're, gonna, you're opening up. And as you open up, lean back as if somebody's sort of pulling your wrist down. But keep your chin in towards your chest. We want the weight of your head forward and then closing on in. So inhale and exhale. And, and imagine in your head, because everything begins in your imagination, that the front of you is receiving this this supply of oxygen and supply of space, one more, an opportunity to relax and elongate. And then because we hold on to things, you know, the shovel and all that, um, not necessarily when you're walking, but this is, this is as much letting go. Let me show you here. Letting go so that you're, you're just letting your arm, your hand go floppy. And believe it or not, this comes from a lot of just holding on to yourself. I would call that core stability. So you're flopping this way and then just letting it shake out side to side. And then I even just lean over here. This is really good in your, in your wrist and your forearm. And then same thing here, just flopping it side to side. Okay, you don't need to take your glove off. I just wanted to show you, but the same thing again, just flopping. So you're not trying to consciously move the hand, right? You're just letting it flop. And then you're going to go a little nutty kind of a wave. And then again, if you lean over, again, just flopping, just let gravity pull that down. And then side to side. Okay, so be uh, aware of yourself when you're outside shoveling take breaks. I'll just put the shovel down and I'll just do some of this stuff outside. I'll do it before I go out, even after. But remember yourself. Remember that even though the task is in front of you and you want to get it done, take breaks. You'll, your, your body will thank you uh, the next day. And, and that's, that goes as far as walking around in the snow and the ice as well. Yes, we have to be cautious and um, everyone you know, may be afraid of falling, but just tune into yourself, listen, uh, 
and, and tune into your awareness of not only what's going on inside, but how you're moving about in the environment on the outside. Okay? And I hope that helps. Have a great day.